Divi 5 nested rows feature provide a new way to build websites using Divi. With nested rows, you can place rows within rows with infinite nestability, unlocking the flexibility to easily build complex and stunning layouts. This feature marks a pivotal step towards Divi 5's advanced Flexbox-based layout system, setting the stage for new era of design possibilities. So whether you are new to Divi or a long-term user, nested rows allow you to be more creative, build layout faster, and avoid need of any custom CSS. And in this video, we are going to explore a few innovative ways to harness nested rows, inspiring you to push the boundaries of Divi 5's layout capabilities. So let's try creating some designs using nested rows in Divi 5. So if you're ready, then let's dive in. If you are new to nested rows, then let me give you a quick recap. In Divi 5, nested rows let you stack rows inside other rows. Think of it like designing nested dolls. You can go as deep as you want, crafting intriguing layouts without breaking a sweat. So no more wrestling with speciality sections from DB4. Plus, with new column sizing options, your design stays sharp and precise on every screen. It's a core part of DB5's push to make web design more flexible and fun than ever before. So let's dive in in our DB Visual Builder and see how all this works. Now in this video, we cannot cover a lot, but if you check out the blog post that we are going to link in the video description below, you will be able to find 10 creative nested row structures that you can use in your next web design project. So make sure you check out the link in the video description below. Alright, so here we are inside our DB Visual Builder and we are going to recreate these two designs. First, we have this hero section and at the bottom we have this footer and both of them are designed using nested rows. So let me show you a quick overview of these two designs. So here, first for this hero section, we have our main section here and under that we have our row and after that we have these three columns. The first one is holding all this and the second one is holding our image and the third one is holding this image and this code form. And as you can see on the left hand side, in the first column, we have some nested rows creating a complex layout. And after that, let's take a look at this footer design. Again, we have a section and then we have this two column layout. And then we have a pretty complex structure using nested rows. So let's start with the first one that is our hero section. So let me just start by adding a new regular section. And we are going to divide that into three columns. So first for our section, let's go ahead and add a background gradient. So the main motive of this video is to show you how you can use nested rows. So I'm just going to copy the design or the attributes from the already created design here. So let me just right click on this section and then copy attributes. And then I'll just right click here again. And then I'll just paste section design attribute like this. So right now it's not showing the proper gradient because we need to add some content inside it. So first let me just go ahead and add this image here. So we click on this plus icon, we search for our image module and then we will choose the image from our library. Here it is. And now we can see we have a proper gradient of two colors. All right, now let's go ahead and add this heading on the first column. So we click on this and we will search for heading and then I'll just come back here, copy the attributes and then I'll just right click on this and paste attributes and I'll paste all attributes because I also want to paste the content as well. So let's paste it here and this is how it's going to look. And after this, we can see we have two column layout here. It means that we need to use nested rows here. So we click on this plus icon here to add a new module. And now, and now in order to add nested rows, we need to click on new row and then we will select a layout structure. So we will choose this one. And on the left hand side, we will add an icon. And on the right hand side, we will add a heading. And now we can simply go ahead and copy the attributes. Now I'm just doing it to save time so that we won't make this video an hour long. So let me just copy attribute from here and then we will paste everything including design and content. So let me just change the icon. 
like this and now we'll do the same for this heading as well all right so now we are getting close so this was the first so this is the first place where we have used our nested row structure and now after this we can again see we have a complex structure so again we need to use nested rows so we click on this plus icon and we click on new row and this time again we are going to add two column layout and on the left hand side we are going to add heading and below this we are going to add text so let me just go ahead and copy every attribute from here again like this and I'll copy the attribute for the content module as well like this now if I click on this row again I can see my two columns here on the right hand side let me just get rid of the right one which is blank and then duplicate the one that we have just created so now we just simply need to change the values and the content like this so now we are pretty much done with the first column and you can already see how easy and flawless it is to use nested rows to create some complex layouts now let's come down to this third column first we will add an image here is our image let's go ahead and copy the attributes of styling all right now after this i'm going to add my form so we search for contact form and here is our form and before that we have a heading as well so i'll just go ahead and add a heading and move it above the form like this and now let me just go ahead and paste all the attributes so after pasting the attributes this is the final look of our form we now just need to remove these fields and add the fields that we need to create this code form so this was the hero section which we are trying to recreate and here is our final hero section so once again this is how easy it is to use nested rows to create a complex design and with that let's go ahead and try to recreate our footer as well all right now let's try to create this footer using nested rows and here in the layers we can see this is the first section which is again using some nested rows and this is the bottom section which is a little bit more complex with different nested rows so let's start by adding our section first so we click on this plus icon and we will click on regular section and we are going to choose this layout here and on the left hand side we have this section and on the right hand side we have this button so let me just scroll down a little bit and on the right hand side let me just first add a button and then again we will just copy these attributes from here just to save our time and we will paste it here and boom we have just recreated the button look and text in the same way i'll just go ahead and copy the attribute of our main section and then i'll paste it here let's add content for this right hand side so here if we click on this we have two columns on the left we have this nested rows and on the right we have this button if we open this column here we can see we have a row again we have two column layout so it means we need to add a nested row so we click on this plus icon we go to row again and here is our nested row and we are going to use two column layout like earlier and we are going to choose this structure because we have a small icon on the left and we have a text on the right so first let's go ahead and add our icon and then after this we are going to add our text and we are going to use heading block like this and again let's go ahead and copy the attributes and let's change the icon like this or maybe this one and we are going to copy the attribute for the title like this all right so the first section is done and it's looking pretty much the same and now let's go ahead and add another section again we are going to choose a regular one and this time we are going to divide this into three columns and here on the right hand side in the first column we have this logo text and then we have some nested row structure 
So by now, I'm sure you have a pretty much good idea about how nested rows work to create complex layouts. So again, I'm going to click on this section and going to copy the attributes. And let's right click and paste the section design. And now let's go ahead and start by adding our image. And we are going to upload our logo like this. And maybe we need to resize it. So I'm just going to again copy my attributes and paste it here. And below this we have text module. So let's go ahead and add it like this. And below this we now have nested row structure. So we are again going to click on plus icon, go to rows. And this is the structure we need. And now this one is pretty complex. We have icon and then text again icon and then text. So we might need four columns here instead of two. But let me just first go ahead and add image and text and then I'll duplicate it. So on the right hand side, we first go ahead and add an icon. And on the right, let's go ahead and add a heading. And once again, we will just copy the attributes. And now I can just go ahead and click on my main row and then duplicate both of them. And let me just go ahead and copy the attributes here. So again, this is how it's going to look after pasting all my attributes. So now just to create another one, we will going to simply duplicate this row. And now we just need to update the content. Now let's move on to the next column. First, we have our heading. So we click, so we select heading module. Again, we will paste the attributes. We will make it bold. And after this, we have this heading module. So let's go ahead and add one. And now let me just copy this again. And just to make it fast, I'm just going to duplicate all of them. And then I'll rename it. All right, so this is how our menu is going to look. And after that, we again have this title. So we are simply going to duplicate this one. And then we will drop it below our menu and rename it. And after this, we again have a nested row. And here we have different columns, each one carrying our social icon. So let's go ahead and add another structure of nested rows. And we are going to choose this one for four icons. And in each one, we are going to add an icon like this. And then we will update the social icons. So we search for our social media profiles. And now in order to do the styling, we are simply going to copy the attributes from here and then paste the design attribute only because we have already updated the icon. So this is how it's going to update the design. And now it's time to work on the third column, which is just going to have this form. So again, we are going to duplicate this title here. Let me just make it bold from the, the styling. Like this. And then move it in the third column. And we will call it get coat. And after this, we are going to add our form. Like this. And again, let's go ahead and copy all the styling. And again, we can just play around with all these fields. So this was the footer which we are trying to recreate. And here is the one that we have just created. And all thanks to the superpowers of nested rows. So there you have it. This is how easy it is to use nested rows to create some amazing looking designs. And if you want to check out more examples, then make sure you check out the link in the video description below. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll catch you in the next video.